Welcome to the Daily Dose of Hope. I am Chaplain Bob, and I want to thank all of you for being here, and congratulations if this is your first time joining us here at the Daily Dose of Hope. We'd certainly appreciate it. I want to point out a couple things below me here in the description box. You can see down below that we have three things in the description box. One, we have our YouTube account. That's our YouTube page. If you, excuse me, that's our Facebook page. If you like our Facebook page, uh, or if you like Facebook, I should say, go to the Facebook page called The Daily Dose of Hope and like us and follow us on there. That would help us out greatly. Also, if you'd like to watch the video and share video, maybe you're interested in going to our YouTube channel and our Rumble channel. We have two different channels. Please go to those channels, the Rumble channel and the YouTube channel, and subscribe to the channel. It's totally free. And then you will get all the updates when we have new videos and you'll be able to share all our videos with many, many people that you love. Now, today we are going to do what we do every day here at the Daily Dose of Hope. We're going to share God's Word. And today we're going to be in Romans chapter 5, verse 3 to 5. And I'm titling this, it's over my shoulder here, How Hope Works. So that's what we'll title it. And let's pray first. Lord God, my do Mighty Father, we love you, we thank you, we praise your name. We know that you are the one and only sovereign God, the one and only true God. We know your word is the truth, Lord. Thank you so much. Lord, as we uh, ask you for help, um, maybe some have some needs, they can insert those right now, Lord. I'll pause for a quick five seconds for them to pray to you, and then, Lord, I'll close out the prayer. Lord, we want to thank you and praise you for being a mighty and a powerful God. We pray all of these things in your precious Son's name, the risen Savior's name, Jesus Christ. Amen. Okay, again, my name is Chaplain Bob. I want to thank you again for being here at the Daily Dose of Hope. And we are going to be in Romans chapter 5, verse 3 to 5. So we'd invite you to open your Bible. I'm going to go ahead and open my Bible. I have one on my device which I'm going to read this in context. And then I'm also going to put one up on the screen so that you can see it just in case you don't have your Bible. So I'm going to my Bible app, uh, Romans chapter 5. There it is, chapter 5, verse 3 to 5. Um, actually, I'm going to start in verse 1. And let me put it up on the screen for you just in case you don't have your Bible with you today. That's fine. Uh, this is Romans chapter 5, verse 3 to 5, How Hope Works. And I'm going to read it in um, the ESV. On the screen, it's in the New King James Version. So we'll have two different translations. But I want to read this in context. And the context is Romans 5, 1 to 5. Now listen carefully. Therefore, since we have been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him, we have also obtained access by faith into this grace in which we stand. And we rejoice in hope of the glory of God. Not only that, but we rejoice in our sufferings, knowing that sufferings produces endurance, and endurance produces character, and character produces hope. Verse 5. And hope does not put us to shame, because God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. Now that was the whole context of Romans 5, 1 to 5. And what I want to focus in on uh, pertaining to our title here, How Hope Works, is verses 3, 4, and 5. So it's on the screen in front of me. Uh, you can see it there on the screen on your device. And I'm going to read, not only that, Paul writes, but we also glory in tribulation. Now, the word tribulation means trouble, extreme trouble. So Paul says here, not only that, and he's referring to the first two verses, which is uh, verse 2, through him we have obtained access by faith into the grace in which we stand, 
and we rejoice in hope of the glory of God. So what Paul's saying there in verse 2 is that we're all looking forward to someday seeing the return of God, seeing the return of the Messiah. And he says in verse 3, and not only that, but we also glory in tribulation. So in other words, we are excited about difficulties, he's saying. And we should be excited about trouble in our lives. Now, this does not sound normal to the average human being. It's contrary to what we normally think. But listen to Paul and see if it makes sense at the end. And not only that, but we also glory in trouble or tribulation, knowing that tribulation or trouble produces perseverance. So when we have difficulty in life, now, I want you to think about the, some of the difficulties that you've had in life. It could be you didn't get a job promotion. It could be if you're a student, you didn't get into the first choice of your university or college that you wanted to go to. It could be if it's a medical issue, it could be extreme. It could be that you have cancer and you've had to, you've had to go through chemotherapy and radiation in order to be cured. For some of you, you've had to go through a very tough, difficult relationship. You have people in your lives, whether it's a spouse or whether it's a friend, that have made things very difficult for you. Or you've had some kind of hurt in your life that's reoccurring. Paul says we should glory in that tribulation, knowing that that tribulation produces perseverance. Now, perseverance is really important in the Christian life. We have to remember that we have all the power through Jesus Christ to make it through difficulty. That's right. We have the power already inside of us to make it through difficulty. Now, I want, to think, I want to bring you back to the time of the Passion of the Christ. There's actually a movie called The Passion of the Christ uh, by Mel Gibson. Highly recommend you watch that. That's a great depiction of Jesus going to the cross. But if you think about the tribulation that Jesus had to endure during the, what we call the Passion, where he's beaten literally to the point where you can see his bones through his skin. Jesus, who was 100% man and also 100% God, he persevered through that tribulation. And that's what Paul's saying. We have the power to persevere through tribulation. It's important for us to do that. Next verse, verse 4. And that perseverance leads to character. And character to hope. So, how does hope work? First, you have to endure. You have to have perseverance. You have to know that by the power of God, you can make it through. Two, it's going to build better character in you. See, character is what not everybody sees on the outside. See, what everybody sees on the outside is what you project. But character is who you are. It's who you are deep down inside of you. Some people say character is who you are when nobody's looking. And so we build better character when we persevere. Some of you have had difficulties in life. And I've been there, done that. I know that. I know that feeling. And through those difficulties, we realize that in those difficulties, or maybe before those difficulties, or maybe even after those difficulties, we have what's called character defects. All of us have them. If you don't believe you have a character defect, well, all you have to do is just look and maybe ask a friend or a family member if they could identify some character defects you have. It's not going to be a pleasant conversation, but all of us have character defects. And what Paul's saying is, once you learn to endure, then God will start working on those character defects and turning them into good character. 
And then finally here in verse 4, he says, and that character will then turn to hope. And we all want hope. The whole world wants hope. If you think about it, the reason that people give up in life, they give up on a relationship, they give up on a career, they give up on friendship, is because they don't have hope in their life. So everybody is looking for hope. Now, let's round it out with verse 5. Now, hope, Paul says, does not disappoint. So when we go from perseverance to better character to hope, Paul says, now hope does not disappoint because the love of God has been poured out into our hearts by the Holy Spirit who was given to us. So when we endure and better character is shaped by God's hand, in other words, he chips off the bad character and reveals the good character. And that leads us to hope. Paul's saying that hope's not going to disappoint you. That hope is going to be something that you're going to cherish. It's what you've always been looking for. And he says here, the reason why we know this to be true is because God has poured out in our hearts by the Holy Spirit who was made, who was given to us. He was designed to be with us when Jesus ascended back to heaven. Jesus says in the book of Acts, I'm going back in Acts chapter 1, verse 8. He says, but I'm going to leave you power. And that power comes from the Holy Spirit. And that power can be used when you have tribulation. And that's how you endure. That's how you persevere. And that's how you develop better character. It's through the Holy Spirit. God the Holy Spirit. And then eventually that hope will be poured out into your hearts through the Holy Spirit. See, we here at Hope Heals International Ministry, we believe in one God in three persons. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. We want to encourage you, if you have any questions or you have any comments on this video, please go ahead and write them down in the comment section or in the uh, below the description tab below. Put down your comments. We'll get back to you and we'll answer those. If you'd like to send us an email down there in that box below the description box, we have our email address, hopehealsministry at gmail.com. We'd love to correspond with you and have a conversation with you. Now, Finally, how hope works. Three simple steps. When you face difficulty, remember, you need to endure. You need to ask God to help you persevere. Ask Him, and the Holy Spirit will give you power. That, in turn, will start developing better character. Ask God to help you with your character defects. Number three, ask God for hope in your life. And when you receive that hope, you're not going to be disappointed. You're going to be overwhelmed how great it is. That's how hope works. Let's bow our heads. Lord God, mighty Father, we thank you and praise you for being a mighty and powerful God. We love you. We praise your holy, holy name. Lord, we ask you right now to listen to our prayer requests. Maybe somebody right now has a specific prayer request that they want to offer up to you. They can do that right now silently in their heart. Maybe there's somebody in the audience that's listening to this right now or watching this right now that wants to believe in your son, Jesus Christ, Lord. And all they need to do is remember to believe three things that God was sent by or Jesus was sent by God, that Jesus has the power to take away sins and that Jesus has the authority to give everlasting life. If they say yes, that they believe all three of those, Lord, we know that your word says that they are saved. Thank you, Lord. We love you, Lord. We pray all this in Jesus Christ, the precious Savior's name. Amen. Okay, everybody, I'm going to put up on the screen as I say my goodbyes. This is a way that you can get a hold of us if you're interested on Facebook, The Daily Dose of Hope. You can also reach us at YouTube and Rumble, and the addresses are on there. How you get a hold of us, just type that into the search, and you'll find 
us and uh, we'd be glad to correspond with you that way on social media. We want to thank all of you that have been praying for us this week. We are going back out on a mission tomorrow. We're going to Hope Christian Preschool tomorrow. We're gonna to be visiting our new students. School started today. We'll go visit those uh, three and four year old preschoolers tomorrow, bring them some uh, food and something to drink as a little snack to say congratulations, welcome to your new school year. And uh, we have a few things planned for the rest of the week um, in terms of ministry. And we just ask for your, your uh, powerful prayers for us. Okay, everybody, we thank you very much. We will see you hopefully tomorrow, if not perhaps the next day. Again, thank you again for being with us here at The Daily Dose of Hope. We'll see you next time. Now enjoy this from Skyly Shea called Easy to Forget. Bye-bye. <laughs>